six, a helping hand with your land. from Messick's here with today's Three Minute Thursday. Today I'm gonna to show you a neat trick to use a multimeter, something you may have lying around your home in order to check to see if the antifreeze in your tractor is good. In the winter time, it's always a good idea to go and check your antifreeze and make sure that it's still good. Antifreeze actually goes bad over time, and if it goes bad, it's not going to properly protect your engine. It can actually freeze and do damage. Uh, antifreeze is normally checked with uh, one of two things. If you go into a shop, they're usually going to use a float system that will show them the temperature that the antifreeze is good down to, or there's some test strips that you can go and actually dip into the fluid itself to check if it's good or not. I, though, in my garage, I don't have either of those things, right? But something I do have is a multimeter. Um, and I was really interested the other day when I heard from one of our service technicians that you can actually check your antifreeze with your multimeter. I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So antifreeze purpose in your engine there obviously is to, to do heat transfer, but it has more roles than that. Um, it's also a corrosion inhibitor. Uh, and a lubricant for your water pump. Uh, but it's the corrosion inhibiting part that makes this multimeter test work. Um, as that is there in your engine and it starts to pick up metals and stuff from the inside, it'll start to act as a battery and start to build up a voltage. So if you take a multimeter and you test for that voltage, if that antifreeze has an electrical current flowing there, it means that it's bad that it's picked up those metals from the engine and should be replaced. And what you're looking for is a number hopefully below four tenths of a volt. So if I go ahead and I dip one of my probes down there into the top of the radiator and then take the other one over here to a screw to find ground, I'm going to look over here at my multimeter and see that I'm reading a pretty consistent 2.3, 2.4 volts coming off of that. And interesting there that even that good fluid shows an electrical charge. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, you know, a tool that I had around home in order to check this that I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So that's your three minute Thursday. If you got any questions about your equipment or anything that we can help you with, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at Messix.com.